So introduce yourself to the world, guys. We'll start off with you. I'm Clayton Marxer from the Adventure Cowboy YouTube channel, and I deal mostly with hunting-related firearms. Awesome. And this would be Abilene Dave Harper from Seminole. This is a copy of an 1878 Colt. So go ahead and pick shotgun. that up and show the guys. 1878 Colt shotgun. Uh, this is actually beefed up a little from the original. Our owner has a original 1878 Colt with a 30-inch barrel. This one with a 20-inch barrel is heavier than his gun with a 30-inch barrel. Yeah. Because it's, it's been beefed up as three-inch chambers just to make it really strong. Uh, wait, first tell the guys who are watching this who may not know, what is a coach gun? Exactly. Uh, I mean, I know... It, it's actually just a term that may not have existed back in the day, but okay. we use it today. It Essentially, it means a shorter barrel shotgun. Uh, of course, you can't get any shorter than, I guess, 16. You know, 16 on a rifle. I don't know if I've ever seen a shotgun less than 18. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but... So the guys that were on the stagecoaches would ride shotgun with a cut-down double barrel, and that's where the term well, came that's, from, that's right? that's where the term came from now. There will be some historians or just enthusiasts who will say, well, they didn't really cut them down because, you know, that would make the range shorter. Sure. They would just, they had full length shotguns. Oh, okay. And they'd say yeah. the shorter ones were more for like in town or like the bartender behind the oh, bar. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's hard to say exactly, but. It's a uh, modern, it's a modern term. Then. It's a modern oh, okay. term, but the shorter barrels are, you know, more popular with the cowboy action shooters because we're not shooting targets way, way out yeah. there. And moving around barriers and sticking the gun in and out of windows, it's a little easier. What kind of range are we looking at in something like this, by the way? Just curious. Well, you know, you know, you could pop a clay bird 40 yards out with it if you're okay. a good, good shot. It's, this is cylinder, excuse me, yeah, cylinder bore, which means there's no choke at all to it. Gotcha. So it's going to have, you know, a fairly wide pattern. Nice. It's got working hammers. Uh, firing pins, of course, are taken out of the gun for the shot show, but two triggers, front, front trigger. Shoots uh, the right hammer, back trigger, fires the left hammer. You know, then you open it up just by pushing that lever. You dump the empties out. The empties are pulled out with this extractor. Nice. In cowboy action shooting, you're not allowed to have an ejector, which would make them fly out. But people polish their chambers a little and they do this, and those shells just fly right out. Nice. So this gun is hell for stout, if I could say hell. Uh -huh. um, Absolutely. It's got, uh, like I said, three chambers. This passed the 1220 test years ago when it was first started being imported. They stick a 20 gauge shotgun shell inside and then put a 12 gauge behind it and, and fire the gun with it, of course, strapped down on a rest. It broke the stock, but the barrels held up. Wow. So it's, it's really tough. Uh, there's one category of cowboy action shooting where you have to use a hammered shotgun. You can't use a hammerless. It's called classic cowboy, classic cowgirl. And this is by far the most popular shotgun for that category because the hammers are big, close together, easy to cock. It holds up very well. Um, I do not shoot that particular category, but I shoot this shotgun anyway just because to me, the looks of this just screams cowboy. Yeah. You know, a hammerless shotgun, they're legal for cowboy shooting, and they're a little quicker. You don't have to cock the hammers, it cocks when you open it. Yeah. But, you know, there weren't that many of them around back in the day. They were, that was more of a, 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 a gentleman's, you know, shotgun or a wealthy man's shotgun. And there weren't just a whole lot of them that went west. There were some. Yeah. But anyway, this just looks so good. I actually did an antique like this. finish on mine. Yeah. And people ask me all the time, you know, is that an original? And I say, no, it's, it's a Cimarron. A double barrel shotgun's actually on my must have list as well. Mm -hmm. Again, I just didn't know where to go. Yeah. Yeah. There's no yeah. extra, yeah. you know, extra safeties on this. Uh -huh. It does have rebounding hammers, mm -hmm. so the hammer's not resting on the firing pin because the original, safety. the originals had that. But you know, some reproductions will have a, a tang safety on the hammered gun, which you know didn't exist. On this gun, the, the safety is between your ears. Nice. So nice. when it, when you cock it, it's ready to shoot. And when it's not cocked, you don't need a safety because it can't go off. I got, I got a question for, this is probably both of you guys. What's your opinion on using something like this for home defense? It'd be, a shotgun is a good home defense. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's depending on where you live, if, if you're in an apartment or something where, anything where there might be somebody on the other side of the wall, there's shotgun ammo you can get that won't really penetrate that wall. 
Yeah. So well, and, and for this, you know, where it's a no choke on it whatsoever, you're going to have a big pattern. Because most of your stuff is going to be in a home is close up close, anyway. Close, close quarters. And, you know, as far as intimidation factor, you know, a lot of people, yeah. they hear the 870 pump. Yeah, that's an intimidating factor. But when you're looking down two, two barrels, 12 gauge barrels, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's intimidating that's, as well. That's scary. And then, um, obviously, you guys are experienced with these. How fast can you reload these? I'm okay. The way I do it is the way people have done it for a lot of years. I'll, I'll act like I'm I'm shooting. Okay, bang bang, dump them out, cock one while I'm putting the shells in, cock the other one, bang bang. The way I do it was pretty quick. Like when I started 16 years ago. Today, the way I just did it is glacially slow. <laughs> There's people that are incredibly fast with yeah. this, and I mean not just this cowboy action shooting in general. The the stage times yeah. to shoot, say, you know, five out of this pistol, five out of this one, ten out of your rifle, and four out of your shotgun. Stage times have increased like about 400 percent. You know, a, a 30 wow. second you know stage. Say 17 years ago, people were doing it in say eight seconds now. Or, I mean, yeah. we're talking the top shooters, of course, not everybody. Yeah. I'm I'm happy when I break 30 seconds. Wow. But so that, the real that's fast, fast guys, some of the fast guys, they have different techniques. Some will do it like I did one at the time, but much faster than me. Yeah. T Bone Dooley, who was a world champion, classic cowboy for a number of years. I'm going to kind of do slow motion. After he shoots the gun, he keeps it on his shoulder so he's not moving it up and down. This hand comes back, opens it at the same time that he's cocking the hammers, and then he grabs two more, drops them in, and, oh, wow. and it's already up here. He doesn't have to pick it back up. But if there are videos out there on YouTube that show some of the real fast guys doing this, and I mean, you don't blink or you miss it. Yeah. So with training, the answer is you can load these things fast. Extremely yeah. fast. Yes. Yeah. Nice, nice. And then, by the way, didn't wasn't there a humongous double barrel used in, um, what was that movie? Appaloosa. Appaloosa, yeah. It was yeah. an eight gauge. Eight gauge. Eight gauge, eight gauge. yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, Vigo Mortensen. Vigo yeah. Mortensen, yes, yes that's that was right. A great movie. That was, that was yeah. awesome. Cool. Dave and Clayton, awesome booth review. I, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much for the education. It's fantastic. Good to see you. And Thanks before we go, by. before we go, let's just give one more shout out to who you guys are. Clayton Marcher, otherwise known as the Adventure Cowboy. You can see me on YouTube. Dave Harper, otherwise known as Abilene when I'm dressed this way. <laughs>